It's my vinyl update for August 2023. Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to this vinyl update for August 2023. Uh, not so many this month but still a fair watch. And only a few that I've already shown. So I shall crack straight on. Uh, we've got some pre-loved from a slice of vinyl, my local record shop. And they are this DJ promo for Robbie Williams's Let Me Entertain You. Uh, this was £8, so £7.20 with my 10% discount. Uh, this is a two-disc set. And it contains four remixes. Five remixes of Let Me Entertain You. Uh, Stretch and Vern's Rock and Roll Mix, Stretch and Vern's Moon Men Mix, Robbie Loves His Mother Mix, Amethyst's Dub, and Flex, Flex Crew's Big Up Robbie Remix. So they come in polylined inners. Um, they look... I have cleaned these because I did a big cleaning session the other day. Um, but they look immaculate. I guess they've been played once, if that. But yeah, DJ promos of some remixes. So Kieran, you know, showed these on one of his Thursday evening, this is what we've got in videos. And uh, there was a couple of albums, and he was showing them through. And let's get these in, in, a, in the right order. Um, he showed one album and it's, it's a soundtrack to a film that I've recently watched and it really liked the soundtrack too. And there's another film by the same director and by the same composer that I watched shortly after that as well and thought, and liked the soundtrack to that as well. And I thought, oh, glad he's got that. Shame he hasn't got the other one. Clicked on a bit and he did have the other one. So I've picked them both up. Short version. <laughs> well, um... So this is the soundtrack to Dunkirk by Hans Zimmer. So yeah, a friend recommended the film to me. Watched it, enjoyed it to a large extent, but really appreciated the soundtrack. So happy to pick this up. I'm pretty certain it's a, I was going to say music on vinyl, but whatever, the, is it movies on vinyl they call it? The film version of that release. Um... This is on blue vinyl. Uh, I did notice one of the discs has got a bit of a scratch on it. Yeah, it's on this one. Sort of just there. It's very light. I'm hoping it won't have any effect on play. Uh, but this I can't, was £35. That's 31 50 So quite a lot of money, but it is... An expensive release in the first place. Oh yeah, this is this has got a mark as well. Yeah, which is a bit heavier. That's probably what I was thinking of. But again, hopefully it shouldn't affect play. I certainly can't feel it. And then the other one. Uh, so yeah, also a Christopher Nolan film and also Hans Zimmer soundtrack. So Interstellar. This is thirty pounds, so that's twenty-seven with a discount. Again, another movies on vinyl or whatever they're called release. Uh, this one just on black vinyl, but this one looked immaculate, I seem to recall. Uh, in a booklet, did one that I missed? No. And second disc. The only annoying thing about this is that rather than A, B, C and D, the sides are labelled with Morse code. So I need to double check my Morse code before I listen to it to check that I play them in the right order. 
But yeah, both soundtracks that I really enjoyed when watching the film. And it seemed like fate when these came up. Uh, still all on the same day for £15, so £13.50. A 12-inch single of Sleepers in Betweener. My favourite Sleeper song. Uh, backed with Little Annie, Disco Duncan and Bank. So I have the CD single. I think I've got the seven inch single. I might not have. I can't remember. Nice to pick that one up. Okay, so the next one, you're going to say, Martin, didn't you buy a copy of Aladdin Sane a couple of months ago? To which the answer is yes. Uh, I put it on to play a couple of weeks ago. And it was warped right on the edge. Hadn't noticed it. It was only when the light caught it that I realised it was there. And um, it was so bad that the needle was just literally just jumping in and out of the groove and landing in the same spot over and over again. I tried, you know, or maybe just avoid the first track. But even on the start of the second track, it was doing the same. So I said to Kieran, is it all right if I bring this back? And he said, yeah, of course. Well, he didn't. He said no. But he meant, yeah, of course. Um, I took it in and that was a £20 copy. Um, he had this copy in the racks, um, which was priced at £30. And he just did a straight swap. I didn't have to pay the difference or anything. Um, the only negative is that the copy I took back uh, was a first pressing in the gatefold. Whereas this is an Italian release, I think it was. Um... Which hasn't got the gatefold sleeve. But it is a nice copy. Um, so it's got the insert rather than... I think that was on the inner sleeve for the copy I had. copy pretty much he did offer to let me keep the sleeve to the other one but I didn't want to Frankenstein the record given this was a foreign press if it had been a British press then I might have done that and then the rest that I haven't shown are new releases I think they're all new releases. Is there any stuff I've got? Oh, all but one are new releases. Um, so first up is David Byrne and Fatboy Slim's Here, Come, Here Lies Love. So this is a reissue of the album from a few years ago. Uh, lots of guest stars on this. Notable ones. Sia, Camille, St. Vincent, uh, Roisin Murphy, Cindy Lauper, Kate Pearson, Santa Gold, Steve Earle, Florence Welsh, Natalie Merchant, Martha Wainwright... Uh, Tori Amos. So this is a m musical album, as in tells a story, um, about Imelda Marcos, hence her being on the cover. This was forty one ninety nine. But as a fan of both Fatboy Slim and David Byrne, I've always been curious about this album, so when they announced it was being reissued, I knew I would pick it up. I think I have heard a track from it on a compilation disc, a, you know, a cover mount CD or something like that. I seem to recall hearing one. Nice custom labels on them. And an insert telling the story. next one was a pre-order through Slice of Vinyl and that's the reissue of Erasure's Best Of Always the Very Best Of um, so what they've done they've taken off 
a couple of tracks. One was a this was originally released in does it say anywhere? No. But whenever this was originally released, it included a, an extra remix of some time and I think of another track. Um which has been taken off of this release and had a couple of more recent tracks added. Um but I saw Erasure supporting Robbie Williams in Southampton a few years ago and really enjoyed it. I've always liked their music, but it was one of those sets where every track I they started playing, I was going, oh yeah, this one, oh yeah, this one. And ever since then, I've thought I must pick up an Erasure Best Of. Um, never really seen one out and about to get. So when this was announced and up for a pre-sale, I thought, yeah, that will do me nicely. So, pre-ordered it. And this was uh, twenty eight ninety nine. Uh, so you may have seen my video, uh, my Martin Meets video for the in-store signing with Tribes. Uh, you'll see their new album in a moment. But I did also pick up their first album from Kieran uh, for twenty four ninety nine. This is Baby. So they played a few tracks from this at the in-store and I enjoyed them and this is on a nice pink vinyl a baby pink uh, but then yes the, the new album um, so the in, if, if you haven't watched that video the in-store signing was a few days before the album came out so they could, in fact, was it a whole week? I think it was a whole week before the new album came out. So they didn't have any copies to be, to be signed. Um, so Kieran arranged for some prints to be made of the album cover. And that's what I got signed on the day. And then the following Friday when the album came out, I picked up the copy I'd already bought. Um, they haven't put a price on here because it was bought through the website to get the ticket for the install signing as well i think it was sort of mid 20s maybe as high as 29.99 but i don't think it was any more than that uh there's a few options available this is the glow in the dark vinyl which i haven't tested but previous experience with glow in the dark vinyl isn't great but i could be wrong Another pre-order for $49.99 and that's the new reissue of Talking Heads Stop Making Sense live album. Uh, so this is the most complete version. This contains the whole show on vinyl for the first time over two discs. I do have the, the original release. Um, but what's really nice in this is it comes with a big almost like a concert program style booklet um, which I will quickly try and show big fold out bits waiting for them to actually release the, sh the film again give it a blu-ray release because I've never actually seen stop making sense yeah but a lovely booklet sort of justifies the added cost you know 50 pound price tag on a two disc set Last new release 
is another reissue of a live album. So this is Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, a motion picture soundtrack by David Bowie, the 50th anniversary edition. Uh, so again, this is the first release of the complete show, including the Jeff Beck guesting encore, which has never been released together with the whole show before. So it folds out like that. I did also buy the CD and Blu-ray box set of this. And it's on gold vinyl, and it's the nice gold vinyl that does actually look gold, not just brown. For anybody who doesn't know, this was the, the gig where he killed off the Ziggy Sardas character. And at the time, people thought he was, when he said it, it was the last tour they will ever do, Everybody thought he just meant full stop, but uh, it was just Ziggy Stardust he was talking about. Uh, that's thirty four ninety nine. Then the last four things are uh, the pre-loved that I bought at the Slice of Vinyl Record Fair, which I did a separate video for. So if you've seen that, you can skip this if you want, but it won't take a minute because um, I'm not going to show them in any detail because you can see them in detail on that video. Um, I did say on that video that this next record I thought cost me £15 didn't it only cost me 10 so it's an even bigger bargain and Richard the stall holder who watches my videos um, corrected me on that so thank you Richard uh, so this is Roxy Music's uh, third album Stranded and also from him was for Smith's World Won't Listen just 25 if you're interested and from another stall for uh, 15 pounds a nice original die cut sleeve new order blue monday and for 22 uh, uncle jam wants you by funkadelic so there you go that's my haul for august 2023 uh not entirely sure what september will bring um pretty certain there's some pre-orders due I'm cutting down a bit because I've got an expensive few mums. I've got a couple of weddings I've got to go to, one of which is um, involves a hotel stay and a, and a long drive that will work out expensive. Uh, I've got a, a little breakaway planned at the end of October that I need to save for, most importantly probably for me, um, the new Prince Diamonds and Pearls Super Deluxe Edition has been announced and with all the copies I've, I've ordered, that's going to cost a, a lot of money, so I need to save for that. So I don't intend doing much spontaneous record shopping. Um, I'll only pick up bits I need for my collection and anything I've pre-ordered, probably. That said, I am going out with Craig Huntley and Mandy Huntley in a week's time, and we do intend popping in some record shops, so I might do a bit of spending, but it's not going to be huge lots. But yeah, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks, bye.